seven dreams that indicates witchcraft activities in your life. And ladies and gentlemen, before we get straight into it, allow me to define the word witchcraft. I do understand that there are many definitions, many meanings that surrounds the word witchcraft. But in simpler terms, witchcraft means a spiritual system that is used or designed to manipulate people's souls. Why your soul? Because your soul is divided into three. And please hear me and never forget this. Your soul has in it a mind, a will, and emotions. With your mind, you think. With your will, you choose. With your emotions, you act. So this spiritual system is designed, which is witchcraft, to manipulate how you think, how you choose, and how you act. So some of the things you think you are the one responsible for them. You are the one who chose. You are the one who decided. Yet the truth of the matter is, there is a force behind the scene that is altering everything about you. After all, the source of every person's dream is activities around them. Dream number one that indicates witchcraft activities in your life is when you are having what we call nightmares. What is a nightmare? We already know what the word night means. But the word mayor, it's a mythological term that means gobbly. Gobbly means an evil spirit. So when somebody say, says, I had a nightmare, they are saying, I had a visitation at night from an evil spirit. That's why people who have nightmares, when they wake up, they are surrounded by fear. And you already know that's not from God. Because 2 Timothy 1.7 tells you that God did not give you the spirit of fear. Then definitely that's from Satan. That's from the evil world. And it's so dangerous that some of you, you will see people you trust strangling you. I'm talking about nightmares. Where your husband is the one strangling you. Where somebody you trust is the one choking you. And why is that? It's because such spirits or evil spirits, they are able to take on the appearance of somebody you trust so that they can break the trust and separate people. I wish I had more time to work on it. Dream number two. When you are drowning. When you see yourself drowning. I did not say swimming, but I said drowning. And a lot of people, who will have such dreams or such revelations or such encounters will wake up with what we call panic attacks or anxiety attacks. And that's because what's fighting you is more than just uh, stress, but what's fighting you is a marine spirit. And because you are too logical, you always think it was just a dream. Yet, on the other side, God was giving you a warning. Remember, Job 33, 15, 16 tells us that God speaks once, yet twice, but man perceiveth it not. The word perceive means interpret. So man is unable to interpret what God is saying. So it's not God who's not talking. It's man who's not listening. Verse 16 tells us, it says, in a dream, so we know he speaks in a dream, in a vision, we know he speaks in a vision, when deep sleep falleth upon men. So we know God speaks in dreams. But some of you, you are too reluctant that you always think it's just a dream. It's just a dream. Listen to me. The day you realize that whatever controls your night hours controls your days, you will take your dreams serious. And when you see yourself drowning, take it from me. Stand against it in prayer. Dream number three. When you see yourself trapped, it doesn't matter if you're trapped in the woods, you're trapped in a building, trapped at school or in a school. It doesn't matter where, as long as you can't see your way out. That dream symbolizes 
activities of witchcraft in your life. And people who have such dreams are struggling from what we call spirit of stagnation. I'm talking about delay. When nothing grows in your life, the only thing that is growing constantly is your age. But other than your age going up, nothing is making sense. As a matter of fact, some of you, you know you carry the destiny of an elephant, but you are living a life of an end. What is an end? An end, we step, we step on ends, and we, we, we don't even care if there are ends on the ground. But an elephant is something that one cannot ignore. And some of you, that's what you carry. But because there are evil activities around you that has manipulated your life, that has hijacked your destiny. At the end, there is nothing to show for it. So if you have such dreams, take them serious and pray against them. Dream number four, snakes. Snakes in your dream. I'm not talking about snake bite. I'm not talking about you uh, running away from snakes, but I'm just talking about snakes in general, okay? Because in this case, the context of the dream is what is more important okay now snakes are symbolic to deception you know what happened in genesis 3 how the snake deceived eve and the word deceived there is actually simple me it actually means to remove the seed remember god said be fruitful he didn't say be seedful meaning man was born with a seed but deceive now means to remove the seed that's why when Mary came, the angel told Mary, you are going to conceive, which is to gain back the seed. But it's a topic of another day. So whenever you see snakes in your dream, you're chased by snakes. Snakes are biting. Every time you close your eyes, you see snakes. It might be somebody is trying to hijack. Somebody is trying to steal your destiny. So do not ignore such dreams. Dream number Five, when you see yourself being shot at, uh, it doesn't matter. Somebody's shooting you with a gun. Somebody's shooting you with uh, a bow. It doesn't matter what it is, okay? As long as you are being shot at. But here's what's important right there. And blood comes out, okay? Somebody shoots you and all of a sudden there is blood. Or somebody cuts you and all of a sudden there is blood. Leviticus declares the life of every animal is in the blood. Such dreams indicate the spirit of death hovering either in your life, your family, or around your loved ones. And let me help you. When we talk about dreams, dreams are a greatest form of revelation, right? While its visions are a greatest form of sight. So dreams also are divided into three. There is what we call a seldom dream. There is what we call an owner which means a prophetic dream. There's what we call a new opinion, which means spiritual dream. But a seldom dream means an ordinary dream. A prophetic dream is directed to you. A spiritual dream is directed to people who are close to you, people that you know, people around you. So sometimes when you see such things, they are actually revealed to you, but about the people that are around you because at the end of the day, it hurts you. So when you see yourself being shot at, when you see yourself being stabbed, you know, where there is blood around you, this is not a good dream. This might be an altar speaking against your destiny. This is accident. But this is death, your life, so to say. I wish I had more time to explain that. Dream number six. When you see yourself in your former school, it doesn't matter how old you are. There are people who always see themselves in their former school whether it's high school whether it's primary i mean at this point in time you are in your 50s what are you doing in your old school and you want to tell me that's normal how come you're always seeing yourself from where you used to be not where you are going but from where you used to be you always see yourself in your former school this has to do with your past you are now some of you working you have never dreamt yourself in that office but you always see yourself right from your past. That simple means, or it might also indicate that something went wrong that needs to be fixed from your previous school or whatever it is. So something took place while you were there. But in most cases, 
Such dreams are also symbolic to a destiny being hijacked. What went wrong and where it went wrong. Dream number seven. When you see rats, you know rats, mouse, rats, yes. When you see rats in your dreams. Rats are symbolic to a devouring spirit. Symbolic to poverty. Symbolic to lack. Symbolic to brokenness. So every time you see such in your dreams, I urge you, I encourage you to pray against such. There is something beyond the physical that is happening around your life. And witchcraft is real. <laughs>